I don't know the future. I didn't come here to tell you how this is going to end. I came here to tell you how it's going to begin. You know, if it ain't that piece of paper, some other choice we're gonna try and make for you. The older you do get, the more rules we're gonna try to get you to follow. <laughs> you just gotta keep living, man. L-I-V-I-N. Hi, you've come through to the HR department. How can I help? Hello, mate. Um, just let you know, mate, I'm recording the phone call just so I can uh, use it to sort of write my notes up after. Um, I'm phoning from a little news outlet called KPW. We've seen a, um, a, a video clip that's uh, pretty much gone viral now. It's got about 60,000 views in a couple of days. Um, it's some of your um, enforcement agents um, doing an eviction in a place called Glossop in Derbyshire. It's for anybody to get arrested, for anybody to get hurt, for anybody to get obstructed. We want to do this essentially. You just we can. don't want to do paperwork, that's it, isn't it? Correct. <laughs> can we see the authority, please? Well, can we see the authority? Can see it. Yeah, to Rika. Right, she can give authority for me to see it on her behalf, or this gentleman or this gentleman. Yeah. We would like to see your authority, please. We'd like to see the warrant. Please. I, 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 we don't even know who you are without right. you. You don't have to know who I am, so, mate, because so, I don't have to so, identify myself. So, if I was one of these, I would I would say no. no. Because Rika, I, I can I see I, the warrant for you, please? I can you give authority? Are you right, refusing yeah. to show us the paperwork? Are you refusing to show us the paperwork? Right. You're not the tenant. You're not the tenants. No, I don't have to be the tenant. the paperwork. It's a writ of possession. Could you show this to the gentleman, please? Are you happy for that? Yes. That's a photocopy. Is that, that is a photocopy I'm looking at. Okay. That's a photocopy, that's not a writ, and that's the problem. What that shows is, that shows they've got the legal powers to come in. Uh, so Is that a warrant? And that badge so there is a cartoon. Is that, That's so a registered corporation. That doesn't exist. If it's a copy, it it's not. Okay. Can we come in and speak to no. you? No. No. Okay. You have no authority to come onto my property. Yes, we we have, we've, got a writ, we've got a writ of possession. Right, no, you have got right, a writ of possession. Right, 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 the reason I've come up... Yeah. Right, it's not going to... Mate, if you've got the right paperwork, we yeah, the right paperwork. well then let, sure. give it to that man to right. have a look at. I'm not giving it to nobody. Why not? Because I'll show it to you. Because it's not real. It is real. It's not real. That's a fraudulent instrument, mate. That's a fraudulent instrument. You're claiming that to be a writ of control, it's a photocopy. Because what I, 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 could, I could have just allocated it to the other officers, the but the reason I've come this out... Well, we need to see it, mate. You can't, you can't claim, you can't claim to have a document that you haven't got. There's nothing I can do about No, we want to see it, mate. That looks fraudulent. We're going to get locked, we're going to interview, and we're going to get outside. Good luck, mate. Good luck. You need, you need for that a warrant of entry. Have you got a soul behind that vest, pal? It's... Riker, is there some... Hello, Listen, yeah, we want to do this amicably, well. peacefully, OK? We're not here to disrupt anything. Uh, mate, you ain't done your threat assessment. I don't think you're going to be here doing this today. We, 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 are, not, we are not yeah. here to do it on peacefully. We want to do it peacefully, OK? If I can speak to How you... How about doing it legally? Give us the... Let's have a look at the document. Let's have a... I don't know what the heck you're going to do about it. About them properties. Yeah, can you come... I mean, we, we have got the right to, to force entry into the property today. And we've got, the, we've got the right to see the paperwork, which you won't give us. It's just showing... The no, he hasn't shown us a paperwork. I need to. I need to look at it. I need to look at it. I would like to look at it. I do need to look at it. I'm requesting that. Listen, the, posi on, the position that it's going to put me in yep. is I'm going to have to start deciding whether people are obstructing the High Court bailiffs. I'm not obstructing anyone yet, mate. Officers, right? listen, I don't no, believe listen, him listen to be listen, acting listen, lawfully. Listen. The last Access thing, right. the last thing I want to do here yep. is to see anybody get arrested. I don't want to be arrested either, mate. I'll come all the way from Essex. The, la the last thing I want to see here is for someone to be arrested for obstructing one of these guys, who at the end of the day, it's nothing personal. They're doing no, it is job. personal, mate. This is her life. Right. This is her home. This is very personal. This, this, this is to you, this is just this, another no, job. This has come from the High Court. It, mate, I, I, it hasn't so, come from anywhere because I can't see the documents. We have not seen nothing. We cannot presume 
We are uh, asking from the hat. Right, let's, right. Presumption, presumption and assumption. Right. Let, listen, let, listen, let me put, listen, let, let me put this another way. We wish to see the paperwork. Let, let let paperwork. being recorded yeah. today. Okay. Thank you. Mate, let you're, me, you're not joking. Okay. Yeah, you're not joking. Right. Right. Let, let me put no this worries. another way. Are you guys going to be obstructing this fella? We're I want to see the paperwork, mate. Right. That's not what he asked. Are you guys going to be obstructing No, no, you weren't answering my questions earlier, would you, Barry? Yeah, I would like to see the paperwork. I would like to see the paperwork. I'd like to see the paperwork, please. I believe you're acting outside your office, office Barry. Just, I believe you're acting outside your right, office, you're Barry. You're coming very, very close to being arrested. No. That's fine, mate. If you want to arrest me, that's fine. But I believe him to be. I believe him yeah. to be yeah. trying to pass a fraudulent instrument. Right, he's shown you the. Paper. No, he hasn't. I Could you give me that no, I'm not to I'm say? Not give Why will he not let me see it? I've examined. Why will the paper. he? No, I don't want to take your word for it, Barry. Well, you're going to have to take. No, me. I don't have to take your word for it. Well, you're going to get arrested then. Well, fine, mate. If you want to arrest me, arrest me. But we don't. We don't want to be doing this. No, and neither do I, mate. Just show us the document. Then leave. Give we're us the leave. documents not to look. Not it's a, give, why not? Why will you not hand us the documents? If I went into if I went into a shop, yeah, and I had a fifty pound note, and I said, "Can I buy a packet of fags, please?" Not like I smoke or anything, right? And I said, "I'm not giving you the, the packet of fags to check whether it's fraudulent." Would you have a problem with a shopkeeper? I think it's slightly different. Mr. Why is it? So, well, let's see it's, then. It's a Let us right? see it then. We are asking for something that is a right. We have got a right to... No, we haven't. No, I would it. like... I'll, I'll no, no, no. I would like to be able to hold it. What do you well, think you I want to do with it? Do you think I want to... Right. Well, I'm not going to use it as toilet roll. Or do, no, no, I would like to read it on my own because I'm not being forced You're not into. Well, enough with it. Well, no, I want to see it here. Well, but I want to hold it. it. I want this man to see it. Well, hold it at the same time if it makes you feel happy. Why will you not give it to us? Because it's not my it's document not to give property. to you. Well, it's well whose is it? Whose is it? It's ours to use to repossess right? the house. Right, right. And if you want to repossess the house, why won't you give us the documents to view? It's not for you. I'm not the lady has just given authority. It's not for you. It's for. So who's it for? Why have you got okay. it if it's okay. not for anyone, right. mate? We're, we are issuing that today, right? Have we want to do this peacefully. Okay, but we will. I would like to view those documents at my leisure. It will take ten minutes. I haven't viewed it. No, read it. Wait, give it to one of these two gentlemen to read. Why not? Is it? Read, read, is that because it's fraudulent? No, read it before. No, it mate, mate. Away. This gentleman wants to read it, and he would like to read it that just nothing, there. That is nothing more than a photocopy. There's nothing and there except some pens uh, and inks. The amount Not, is there's broke. The seal has been broken. Pens. It's written in a fraudulent conveyance of language. It Sorry? makes no yeah. sense. Yeah. To I would like to report to you, Barry. Fraud by instrument. I would like to report to you, fraud by instrument. Could you please put that down in your pocketbook? We now, uh, we have now looked at that paperwork, and I can say that is actually a fraudulent conveyance of language, and that's a photocopy. What, what we're as, a, as, a, as a result. You can arrest Section 26. Him now. You can arrest yeah? him for a criminal justice if and you, courts act. If you derelict, yeah? if you if you derelict, it's your not duty. a fraudulent document. Yes, it is. How do you know? It, it, just it, it is. What, it is. Why won't you give it to us to examine I've to find no, out? I've got no reason what we're going to do. It, so I'm going to get, get my tablet. I'm going to show the original on the tablet. Okay. No, yeah, I want to see them. I don't want to see your tablet, mate. I want to see them because I believe that to be a fraudulent instrument. I believe that to be a fraudulent instrument, and I think the reason you don't want to give it. To me is because once it's in my possession, you have then the tried to serve me with a fraudulent instrument. I mean, That's why you're not. It's got nothing to do with you. I've got authority, it's mate. I've got authority. Right, I've got, and this has got I nothing to do with you. you. I've got authority. Well, I'm mate. here to do a job so, today. Sorry. I oh, it's just a job, is it? This is this lady's life, mate. Right, okay. That's one of the reasons why this uh, document is fraudulent. How right. can you repossess zero? Tell well, I'm not repossessing it. anything. It's for a start. You're supposed to be standing there just making sure no breach of the peace occurs, which is why I'm still here. Ooh, listen, well, I'm not preaching the peace, am I? We, we are, no, we are, you know, and I'm making sure that you don't. No, you, mate, I'm making sure that I don't. My actions stop me you, from preaching the peace, we, not we you. We help each other. But the, the point of this is, it. I got this from the from Michael Golf, um, and as well as from the Department of Justice, who is the ones who govern the court. So these documents were mm. made as breach of contract. There is the proof. No. Yeah. And that is the original letter. And you can see that document does not match any of these descriptions. Mm. These and then are the now next page a fraud. Is... You are now authorized to arrest this man mm. for carrying fraudulent conveyance of language. No, I'm not. You're Why not? Why are not? You derelict? You, are you you're derelict in your duty? duty? No, because I disagree. Then we, we have to... And, and I have to form... Hang on, whoa, 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 whoa. Then we'll have to... Right. According to the law, for me to arrest, it needs to be me that forms the opinion 
and forms a suspicion of an offence, not you. So it's my and card. And you're 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 Barry, don't point his face, face, mate. No, I'm not. Because no, you are pointing his face. He's pointing his pen at me. Oh no, he's got he's holding his pen. So it works both ways. No, it doesn't work both ways. You it's, didn't point him in the it's face. It's my man. call as to whether I arrest. It's my call as to whether there's suspicion reasonable. So if one of these the hit me right and, now, and would my, you arrest them? And that isn't going to happen. Sorry? Great. It is my duty as a citizen to make that. sure that you can never mind, mate. Correctly. You are holding now, a fraudulent I'm document. Then let us view it. Well, I don't believe it. You are now authorised to arrest this man for carrying fraudulent documents. I believe that he's got fraudulent documents. As the analogy was drawn of a £50 note, that's mm. in fraud. That's a fraud. You no. can now... Um, me, me you I've got the original coming out. down on the tablet. Yeah. So. No, it won't be an original on a tablet, will it? Uh, this is done by that could be a copy on the tablet of that one, mate. It's yeah. a cartoon. I'm hardly going to be here with a copy, am I? That mate. is a cartoon. That is a cartoon. Mm. You're What's holding... You are in oh, possession yeah. of fraudulent <laughs> conventional language. As a student... As a student of the Chief Federal Judge, I am now identifying yeah, that as a fraudulent conveyance of language. That's a copy um, of the original. Can, on can the you tell me how original it is? So, be on but, a excuse me, gentlemen. By you saying that that is, that that is a copy of the original, are you stating that that isn't the original? That's a copy. Right, so we're agreeing that's a copy. So, we've not got an original document. No one stated that that's original. So, if that's a copy, how do you know it ain't been tampered with or amended? Chris, can I, um, Inspector, can I ask you a question? How can a property in excess of £5,000 taken away by a county court judgment... It's not that you don't want to talk to you. It's just that steroids make you deaf. Right. Are we going to resolve this? Because the last thing I want to be doing here is using force. We will use force and if me. we have to, but I don't want to. You cannot there's use not, force. We will I'll use force. I'll get him to arrest you. You can't use we force. Can't. There's not no, enough, well, there's not enough of you. Not there's there's not enough of you, mate. We, we, no. li listen, listen. We're not going to stand here all day long. Are you chaps going to move out of the way to allow these people to do that? I want to see his documents, mate. No, I, I think they're fraudulent. We've, 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 been, we've, been, we've been through all this. He's now just confessed. Uh, that is not I, I, am, I am telling you, I am satisfied it's lawful. I'm sorry, I'm not, ha I'm right. not happy with you. I'm not happy. I want I'm not happy. Please no, can you respect not. I'm not happy property. with your assessment of that. You need to move, mate. No, sorry, man, you're going to have to arrest me if you, if you think. Because I've, I've just reported a fraud to you. Right. I've just reported a fraud to you. You're, up, you're, up, what you're not doing, being aggressive. You're obstructing me doing my no, duty. Mate, I, no, I no, don't you're think, you're I, I don't think that's obstructing me. I don't think sir, that document. Sir, let me speak. Don't call me you're, sir, and sir, I won't let you speak. Sir, that is a fraudulent you're document. Me doing that is a fraudulent document. Okay. Okay. That is a fraudulent document. That is a fraudulent document. No, I don't believe you to be working in these jurisdictions. You're leaving me. I don't want to do this. Mate, and I. Well, don't do it. Well, don't do it. Then you want to throw this lady out of her house, mate. I don't want to throw her out of her house. Yes, you do. Otherwise, you wouldn't be helping. Go on, if you speak to her, I can. You're, you're now, you're you now part of the. Right. You're now part of the. You're not leaving me any choice, mate. I don't. No, um, there is no choice. Right. You've no, got a choice to case. walk away. You're going to lock me up. Sorry, what's that mean? I'm going to arrest you. For what? Arrest me then. I'm going to arrest you for obstructing a high court. Mate, I'm not. No, I want to see his documents. I don't believe that he's acting with in jurisdiction. I don't believe that they are the real documents, and he won't show them to me. And, and I've got authority to see mate. them, Barry. So you, you need to move, or I've got no choice. Mate, I, I'm not, no, you've, always got, you've well, always got a choice. You've always got a choice. I'm not obstructing yeah, anyone. Yeah, I don't well, believe well, them well, documents. Well, well, documents well, well, to be real. You don't have to say anything. Don't tense up. I'm not tensing up, mate. I've just got a bad left soldier. I've got a bad left soldier. Don't tense up for me. Don't tense up for me. Come on. You're being filmed. Excuse me. No, take the phone. Take the phone. I'm going to call centre to the house, okay? We're here to facilitate them to do their job. In other words, we're here to allow them to do their job. Okay. I wouldn't expect any problems. Clearly, we've already, already reluctantly arrested one person. I don't want to arrest anybody else. Yeah. We're here to allow these to do their job. Um, um, if anybody does try and obstruct them, um, <laughs> there's every chance to arrest them. Okay. Before they go on, could this gentleman identify himself? Can everyone stand away from the door, please? Can everyone stand away from the door? They're telling me that everyone's away from the door. Excuse me. What are you doing?
Look at the bastards. Another bastard. She's not even as long as you carry on like that. Go on, big boy. Go on, big boy. Go on, big boy! Look at this utter human piece of excrement. Look at the state of that. Go on, big boy! Go on, you should have got fucking down to the gym. Should have got down the gym, buddy. You would have been in by now. Go on, you're sweating. You're sweating, I can see it! Go on, man! Go on! Should have had your spinach, mate! Spinach, buddy! Get to the gym when you get home! He's through! He's through! Five minutes! These bosses will be having a word about that! Come on! Oh, here's number two! He's got a foul mouth and a muscle, Mr. Grocock. I'm there, mate. That's up to you. You've been asked to move politely, so I suggest you move. Yeah. Serve and protect, boys. Serve and protect. Yes, yes. The corporations, all the corporations. Oh, number three. Third time lucky. Come on, what are they saying that? Another one that needs to go to the gym. You're sweating already, buddy. There he is. There's another bastard. Just keep your legs up. 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 Keep your
your language down, mate. I don't mind you expressing... Swearing isn't a language. It, it isn't. It, I'm not breaking no mind, law. I don't mind you expressing your views, but start swearing. What? Can you can you tell me what that... Yeah, what section, that, section five what it means in the out. dictionary? What it means in the dictionary? Uh, what did I swear? I didn't swear. I did not. What's the? Uh, what is the uh, definition of the word I've just said in the dictionary? Yes. Well, you'll be debating it in a question screen, so please don't. Yeah. yeah. And if he is one. There's the damage. The big boys have done the damage. Here's another lad, he's got the crowbar now. Hippie man. Chief. Hippie man. Hippie man. Yo. Chief. Wait, 
open the door. Well then. If he hits her, he's the one that's going to be liable for actual bodily harm. Big boy, why don't you have another go? <laughs> Is it worth it to go to jail for actual bodily harm for hitting her? something, Inspector. Yeah, move away from the door. Is that all you're going to say? You're just going to enforce that? Yeah, move away from the door. But they're doing it illegal. I think these guys have acted on the point of detail. That's all a matter of opinion, isn't it? But if she's likely to incur injury by being behind the door, then the most sensible thing to do would be to move away from it once they've been packed. You're acting like advocates for these guys in this disgusting federal general population. That's what you signed off on. Yeah, but they're acting like advocates. Okay. It's not moral. You've got to think how your house would feel if this happened. Somebody purges themselves to uh, get this property. One day they'll know they're doing news over as well. Well, we're telling you to move your hand away from the door, please. And she's also telling you. Yeah. 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 You're capturing this on camera, aren't you? Oh, I've got it, I've got it, mate. I've okay. got some great pictures, right, zooming in and everything. Away from the door. And that's just that by the door, he'd probably have a smoke in the There they are, the three amigos. Hey, here comes the big man.
just telling you about the reaction. I knew only doing your job, and that's why you got all these numbers. Right, right. Bending over like that, sunshine. Oh, that's, uh, that's, uh, let's get this and then we'll crack on with it, lads. I like the way you abuse women as well, mate. Big cheers, boys! Hey! Yay! Hey! Hip hip! Received information that one of the um, eviction blokes, you know, one of your bailiff type fellas, is a fella called Carl Grocock. Um, and he was arrested on the 1st of December in 2009 in a blackmail case. Now, he did get, um, you know, he didn't get done for it. He got off of it, and we're not too sure how. Um, but, it, you know, he's admitted in court and stuff to lying in the police interviews, and uh, there was 130 phone calls and texts planning the blackmail. Don't know how he got away with it myself, but there you go. Um, he was the um, bailiff. Yes, yes, Could you... Please just tell me, um, is that the sort of people you employ? Unfortunately, I can't give out any information regarding our agents. 
Got you. I mean, we're looking into Carl Grocock, and um, you know, he's he's got some sort of like you know address or business at Marine Road, Rossilli, and apparently he's super uh, renting cars to other people in your group, um, and it's all part of a bit of a tax dodge. Apparently, we you know we're, we're yet to sort of like fully investigate it. But um, it seems that this enforcement agent that you're employing that, you know, uh, was arrested for blackmail and admitted to lying in a police interview and stuff. Uh, it looks like, you know, he might be doing some tax evasion and stuff like that, as well as being quite an unsavoury character. We've got quite a few reports that um, he's actually sort of like, you know, a criminal in Nottingham. Okay, well, I wasn't aware of, uh, Have you got any, of anything like that. No worry. Well, no, that, that's the whole idea of ringing you, just to make sure, sure that you're aware of the people that you're employing. Um, have you got a Carl Grocock that works for you at all? We have, but I can't uh, well, give you any further information. Yeah, I mean, it's, bl it's, it's, it's plain as day on the internet, you know. I mean, the guy's refusing to give the documents over, uh, you know, stuff like that on this uh, interview. Of a, uh, he's evicting a school teacher out of her house um, over some stones on her roof, you know. It's quite a sort of like, protracted legal battle and stuff. Um, is there any statement that you wish to give at all? Uh, no, there isn't at this stage. No, no. I mean, sort of like, can you look into it and possibly get back to us so that we can, uh, you know, give you the right reply in the article? Uh, yeah, I can do. Great, great. Do you want to take my number? Uh, yes, please. It's 07946. Yep. 155. Yep. 551. Okay. And my name's Vinny. Yep. Um, if you could look into it, Carl Grocock. Uh, you know, blackmail case, all that sort of stuff. He's uh, He's got this funny little tax dodge thing going on at uh, Marine Road, um, you know, which implicates some of your other people as well. Um, yeah, and oh, the other thing was he didn't actually show up on the registered bailiff, uh, the bailiff register or something also, so we're wondering why that is. Uh, that'll be down to the MOJ. I yeah, yeah, well, well, they're saying that they've not got him on there, so is, is he a bailiff? Isn't he a bailiff? He is a bailiff. Oh, so you have got him as a bailiff and he does work for your company? Yes. But you're just unaware of the blackmail case and his criminal history, apparently? Well, I can't comment on that at the moment. No worries. If you could have a look and uh, get back to me, can I take your name, please? Uh, my name is Miss Lloyd. Miss Lloyd? Thank you, Miss Lloyd. Yeah. Have you got a direct number, Miss Lloyd? I have it, no. It just goes through to the call centre. Miss Lloyd, no worries. Right. Miss Lloyd, thank you very much for your time. If you can get back to me as soon as possible, because um, I'm not too sure that uh, people like that should be in uh, positions that they're sort of serving documents and working for courts and stuff like that, you know. Right, okay, yep, yeah, thank you very much for your call. Thank you, bye. Bye. Go and Google Carl Grocock, really at name Grocock. Um, Carl Grocock and put blackmail in it and have a look at the news articles, guys. Police who were on the trail of blackmailers caught one of them when he tried to pick up a bag containing 11,000 pounds, a court was told. Carl Grocock was waiting for the cash to be dropped off at a bus stop in Bulwell, which was marked with red and white tape, Nottingham Crown Court was told. But it was police who were actually delivering the money, and Grocock was arrested. Officers had agreed to drop off the cash after being alerted by a businessman who said he had been subjected to a four month blackmail campaign. The victim, a pub owner and landlord from Loughborough, had been texted by Gary Penwarden, 48, and told he had to pay £33,000, which was supposedly owed to Penwarden's mother. The message, sent on August 7, 2009, said, I'll destroy everything that you have. The victim reported it to police and told them that he did not know the man, his mother, or have any sizable debts with anyone. However, within days a fire broke out at one of his unoccupied properties in Loughborough, causing £15,000 damage and a shot was fired through the window of his pub. Then a window at his home was shot at in November, 2009. After this incident, the victim decided to sell a car in order to make a payment to Penwarden, said Justin Wigoder, prosecuting. But it was Leicestershire police who dropped off the cash by a bus stop in Lowood Road, Bulwell, on December 1, 2009.
Detective Constable Craig Morell told the court he drove past a white van belonging to Penwarden which was parked outside Highwood Cemetery, in Boulwell, on the way to the drop-off point. When he got to the bus stop, Grocock was one of two men stood next to it. The officer said, I noticed the defendant was pacing back and forth, and when I exited my vehicle and walked towards the bus stop, he was looking in my direction. After dropping the bag, Detcon Morell said, I saw the defendant crouch down and pick up the bag before immediately sprinting off through the hedgerow behind the lamppost. Police traced Grocock back to his home in Moss Close, Arnold, where the white van belonging to Penwarden was seen in the driveway. Grocock then left in his car, before Penwarden was seen carrying a plastic bag and then driving away in the van back to his home in Arnside Road, Lean Valley. Under police interview, Grocock, 36, said he had been paid £500 to pick up a bag from a bus stop, which he had been told was money for a car. Giving evidence in court, he said he didn't know the victim or his family and had no involvement with the blackmail plot. He told the court he had known of Penwarden for a number of years, as they had both grown up on the Bestwood estate, but that they had only been friends since November 2009. He told the court he had lied at his first police interview about who had dropped him off at the pickup point, in order to protect Penwarden. When questioned why by James Beck, defending, he said, because where I come from I didn't want to be labeled a grass. Mr. Wigoder said records showed there were 130 phone calls and text messages sent between Grocock and Penwarden between November 1 and December 1, 2009 which he said revealed they were planning the blackmail together. Grocock has pleaded not guilty to blackmail. His trial continues at Nottingham Crown Court on Monday. Penwarden pleaded guilty to blackmail at an earlier hearing. He admitted phoning and sending texts to the victim between August 7 and December 1, 2009. He will be sentenced once Grocock's trial has finished. And these are the sort of people that are throwing good people out their houses. I said, empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow, or it can crash. Be water, my friend. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth.